Behind the Badge brought to you by AMCO. Together, we're good for Utah. And welcome back. Veteran Salt Lake Unified Police Officers taking community involvement to the grassroots level, and we mean literally. ABC4's Rick Aaron shows us how in this week's Behind the Badge. You might call Detective Jerry Wayne the long arm of the lawn. As the executive property compliance officer for Midvale, he patrols neighborhoods looking for overgrown, unkempt, or junk-filled yards. Detective Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, last name Wayne, W-A-Y-N-E, like John Wayne or Batman. That's how I always introduce myself. Over the course of his 19-year law enforcement career, he has been Batman and a pirate and even a prom king. That personality and sense of humor serves him well when he's out telling people to clean up their act. 100% compliance on face-to-face. -face. If I can get face-to-face, -face, it's like, this is what it is, this is how easy it is. I, I will even come out and help you if you let me know. I've had one guy that called up and he's like, hey, if you're really serious about that, I could use your help. And, you know, I'm like, okay. I have no problem getting my hands dirty. That's why in addition to a badge, a gun, and a bulletproof vest, Detective Wayne travels with a weed whacker, a grass trimmer, and a portable generator. I don't mind getting out there and, and picking up garbage or moving stuff, you know, to get them into compliance because that helps them out and that kind of empowers them to do a little bit more. It's my community too, I work in it. And so I want it to look good. I want you to have good neighbors. I want you to be a good neighbor. And if I can help you be that, I'll do it. The former school resource and canine officer found himself in need of help 10 years ago when a retired and blind police dog his family had adopted mauled his two-year-old son, Caleb. While he spent 90 days in intensive care at Primary Children's Hospital, fellow officers and regular people held barbecues and concerts to raise money for his medical bills. It's sad that it takes a tragedy like that to uh, you know, bring everybody together, but it, it was really a, a cool experience kind of two communities at the same time. A law enforcement community came together, Midvale came together, um, and I was really part of that family. And that was really cool. Officer Wayne tells me that Caleb is doing just fine. He is now a sixth grader who loves school and despite everything, still loves dogs. Behind the badge, I'm Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Time now.